Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, welcome to our webinar today. So uh, it's just gone 12 o'clock here in Melbourne. We are continuing on with our oil filtration webinar series. So I'll just go there and start up that little presentation. Okay, so as I said, welcome. Great to have you back with us. The series that we're doing, we're well advanced in it now. So this is the oil filtration webinar series. My name is Paul Marley, Technical Training Manager from HIDAC in Melbourne. We've got 11 parts to this series. We're already up to number eight, offline filtration. Now we've got uh, a few things that are happening in this little presentation here. So first of all, there's a poll. I'm gonna ask you a question in a moment. Please go to the poll tab to fill that in. If you have any questions, please put them in the question tab and we can address them later on. Okay, so the poll question is, that in my personal experience, the systems with offline filtration have the cleanest oil. Do you agree? As in, uh, have the cleaner systems that you've found, if you service and maintain hydraulic systems, have the cleaner systems you've found the system been the systems with offline filtration? I'm wondering if it's just me, and I don't think it's an accident. So please go to the poll tab to uh, fill that one in. Okay, so as I said, we're up to offline filtration. So let me just define what that is. Offline filtration is sometimes known as kidney loop filtration. It is an open loop filtration subsystem which supports the main system. It will have a dedicated pump to provide the flow required. So on the uh, schematic system like this. So we've got the main system over here and the Offline filtration is its own little loop, which we include filtration in. Okay, so now it's not necessarily a separate power source as shown here. What I mean by that is we have the motor or engine driving the main pump for the main system and another motor, in this case, driving the offline filtration system. You could have the offline pump mounted as a through drive in this pump as well, but the sub circuit is still separate from the main system. So I suppose the thing that defines an offline filtration system is it will have its own pump okay, and have an offline system not related to the main system. Okay, Sometimes called kidney loop filtration, as I said. Um, I suppose that's, it's similar then to dialysis. It's an offline filtration system. Okay. So... Often, as I said, a dedicated pump for filtration and cooling. So in this particular case, the red pump here, this is uh, the main system pump. And attached to that is a group two gear pump in this case. That is a fixed displacement pump. That is our cooling system. So this whole arrangement has then been duplicated over here. And it's then got uh, some redundancy, but you can see how it's got a separate pump. Okay, advantages of offline filtration. Well, it's got many advantages. So we've already been discussing how filters work best when there's a consistent and steady flow rate and there's no pressure pulsations. So ultimately what it means is you then have the filter given its best chance of catching and holding the contaminants that you find. Okay, so that's exactly what you're going to see in an offline system. You're going to have a system with a variable flow and the flow doesn't change and it's consistent. You shouldn't get pressure pulsations. Filters love it and they work their best in those conditions. In an offline loop, it's a low pressure system. So then we have the same advantage that we have with return line filtration in that because we don't have a system, this part of the system subjected to high pressures, then we can have filter materials made out of aluminium, uh, light steel, and so on. So what it means is then fine filtration, because you have pressure available to push the fluid through a fine filter, but a lower cost overall because of the materials of the filter, then that again gives you the best value for money, best return on investment. So the same argument there as with return line filtration, but without the flow changes in the pulsing. So you can have almost any type of filter working as the active filter in an offline system. I've got an example here. This is a, a housing for a, what we call a dimicron element. And you can see then the range of micron ratings that this is available in. So 30 micron, quite coarse, down to two micron, all absolute, okay? Um, so these systems can just be just the filter itself, just the housing as a standalone thing, 
or these can come with a dedicated pump and motor and even contamination uh, sensors on there as well. So there's a, a lot of possibilities with these. But I thought I'd highlight these because these are quite a special little filter compared to some of the other filters. These have an extremely high contamination retention. So for example, the large one, an OLF60, can hold two kilograms of contaminants, of an ISO test dust, that is. So two kilograms, quite a lot of contamination retention. So these are particularly good at being put into a system and you just run the system until it's time to change the filters. But because they're nice and large and because they have high contamination retention, it's almost maintenance free. Another advantage of off offline filtration is it's often simple to apply to your system. All you need is a suction port and a return port to put the oil back into the tank. A couple of hoses, because things like these little o OLF systems here, these already come prepared for an offline system. So this is an electric motor and a pump and a filter in housing and an indicator. All you have to do is bolt that to something, wire it up, hose it up, and you go. So very easy to apply as a solution. And you'll get very good cleanliness results from that as well. Another advantage of offline filtration is it can be something that isn't permanently mounted to your machine. An example of that is you could have a filter trolley, a filter cart. With the appropriate connections, you can take it from machine to machine and use that to address the cleanliness and improve the cleanliness of a particular machine as needed. So this is a offline filtration system that you can use on multiple machines. So the possibilities are almost limitless. Another advantage of offline filtration is you can often do water removal as well by the use of filter elements. So aqua micron elements from HIDAC, the separation of water from hydraulic fluids with the aid of a super absorber in, embedded in the filter material. Now, while I'm here addressing this in the filtration webinar series, yes, we have aqua micron elements that will remove water, but please understand you can't just swap out a standard element in a dynamic pulsing system with these because these need a low flow rate. So offline filtration is a really nice place to put this, but you can't put these sorts of elements in your standard pressure line of a dynamic system or return line. If you have water problems, you have to address them some other way, but you can have permanent water removal in an offline system. Another advantage of offline filtration systems is that they can cool. So an offline loop is also the best option for system cooling solutions. Um, if you are taking oil from a tank, it makes sense to pass it through a filter, then pass it through a, kilt, a cooler and back to tank because in the same way that this improves the way the filters work, it also improves the way the coolers work because it doesn't have pulsing. It doesn't have pressure shocks and pressure spikes, and that will then protect the cooler as well. So I've said in previous webinars that we've done is that very often people will go through a cooler and then go through a return line filter back to tank. Okay. We believe it's best to go through a filter first when the oil is hot because you improve the pressure differential across the filter with low viscosity fluid and then you cool the fluid as you put it back into the tank. So all this happens in a single loop. And there's some coolers, for example, that HIDAC have that incorporate uh, yeah, an electric motor and then a pump and then the fan for the cooler all in a single unit. So, uh, and they, they could also have a filter in the cooling core. So then all you have to do is literally, like the other systems I talked about, few hoses, electrical wires, on off switch, offline cooling solution is done. Another advantage of offline filtration systems is that they are really very good for facilitating maintenance. When an offline system has a dedicated power source, then with appropriate isolations, filter element replacement can be performed without shutting down the main system. Okay, so this is very important in production machinery. Um, examples of that might be the mining or paper and pulp industry where the machines run all the time. So being able to change the filters just by turning off the offline system is a great advantage. Another advantage of offline cooling systems is that it's a really good place then for 
applying condition monitoring devices. An offline system is the perfect way to gain an insight into the fluid's condition. Now, again, these systems need a steady flow, consistent flow without pulses and so on, so that these can get an accurate sample of the fluid. But you can use the offline system to draw from that, your main system. And then you can get water sensors, contamination sensors, and then display all that, send it to the cloud, view all that on remote devices. All of that is very easy to achieve. So I thought I'd show you just a circuit here. This is from an, an offline filtration solution. So this pump here, this is not the main pump for the system. This is already offline, but we have a main pump for the filtration. So we have the inlet, we pass through the system, through the filter and out. But also this system has another pump. And then this is supplying oil through a strainer, in this case, through a contamination sensor, aqua sensor. And that's doing our offline uh, monitoring there, as well as doing its offline filtration. So you can see how the, the systems kind of piggyback on each other. So there are many advantages to an offline filtration system. But again, the principal advantage is you get amazing cleanliness results because without the pulsations, without shocks, without changing flow rates, you have the ability for that filter to catch and hug and hold those contaminants and it won't let them go. Gives your system a bit of love. Okay, are there any disadvantages to an offline system? Yes, there can be some uh, things that you can see as a disadvantage, but we can cover this in one slide. A pressure filter may still be necessary to protect sensitive components, okay, such as a last chance filter or something like that. It's got an increased initial cost because, of course, you have extra components in there. Increased space needs because you have extra components in there. And if you do have a, an extra a power source to drive your offline cooling pump, of course, you have increased energy needs. And I would suggest that the extra cost, the extra space that's required would always outweigh, always outweigh any disadvantages in the system. If you are doing a, a system that you require very good cleanliness, I would always encourage you to use offline filtration, but support it with other modes of filtration as well. Okay. Applying an offline filtration solution. So how is it done? Well, ultimately you can say, all right, well, uh, I, I'm going to have a tank. I'm going to turn over that oil so many times an hour or so many times a day. And you just do a calculation to work out what flow rate you need. But as a rule of thumb, so you might be asking me, well, what flow rate should I have? Um, Every system is different. And bottom line is you can actually choose whatever flow rate that suits you. So decide the rate at which you want to turn over your oil volume. Now, of course, the more that you turn over your oil volume, the larger the filter you're going to need and the more often you're going to have to replace the element. But ultimately, then, if you turn over the oil constantly and rapidly, then you'll have a cleaner system. But if you take the time to flush the system properly when you're putting fluid in it, all you have to do is just, you know, it's easier to maintain a clean system as clean. So uh, the flow rate doesn't have to be a high flow rate. So um, how do we apply it, though? Well, more often than not, the offline flow rate is determined by the cooling requirements. So most hydraulic systems are going to need some sort, of, some sort of cooling. So you're going to be pushing oil through a cooler. We try and do that in an offline system anyway because it's better for the cooler. So it's really the cooling selection that determines the flow rate that will go through a filter. So basically, we choose a filter to suit the flow rate of the cooling system. And that's how we apply it. So you might want to consider that. Or, of course, talk to us if you'd like a system built that works with perfect cleanliness. So that brings us to the end of offline cooling and offline filtration. So finally... We've got some other webinars coming up, of course, in this filtration series. There's three more to go. The next one is the last one where we're looking at the products and the uh, options available. Uh, and the subject next time is filter breathers. But there's three more to go. Okay. So um, 
we've just got one last thing to do for today, and that's to have a look at the polls. The question was, do you agree with me <laughs> when I say that I find the coolest, the, the cleanest systems to be those with offline filtration? So resoundingly, 92% agree with me. Um, so I would suggest from a crowdsourcing perspective, have a look at what what the experiences are. The experiences are that if you have offline as part of your design solution, offline filtration gives you the best results. And the best filtration results on your system lead to the best value best return on investment for your system so consider offline if you can do it it's great filtration okay thank you very much for joining us today so we've got we've got three of these left it's been uh, an absolute pleasure please everybody remain safe you know keep your social distancing and washing your hands and all of that and we will see you in the next webinar and uh, stay happy and healthy everybody thank you for joining us today 